the Enigma Major Depressive Disorder or Enigma MDD uh, consortium, which I lead together with my colleague Dick Feldman, is a working group within the larger Enigma consortium um, and consists of around 31 sites across the world, um, about 15 different countries from which researchers share data, collaborate and analyze uh, brain clinical and genetic data. And we use about scans from 2,500 people with a depression and 8,000 controls. The first question that we wanted to answer was which brain structures really show a robust difference between people with a depression and people with, without a depression and how this relates to specific clinical uh, characteristics such as uh, how many episodes a person had, um, age of onset of the, of the first depressive episode. Another very interesting finding that we recently did um, was looking at adolescent depressed patients and adult depressed patients separately. And we looked at the, the cortex of the brain, so the outer layer of the brain, at different features of the cortex. And we found some intriguing results showing um, that basically the level of brain abnormalities or even um, the specific brain abnormalities are really dependent on um, the stage of the illness so specific clinical characteristics of depression, but also on the level of brain maturation probably. So we, we see a very strong difference between brain abnormalities in adolescent depressed patients versus adult depressed patients. So that indicates that the impact of MDD on brain structure is really dependent on, on the stage of life or the stage of disease, probably related also to brain maturation. Previous studies always included quite a small sample size uh, and the results have been quite inconsistent across different studies. So we really wanted to, to pull all this data that is out there in the world and uh, really answer this basic question, what is different between patients and controls? Up until now, we've uh, used a meta-analytical approach. So this means that People or sites that participate in Enigma MDD, they don't need to share their raw scans or the raw data. We basically send them scripts that we harmonize across all these sites for processing the data, quality checking the data and doing the statistical analysis. And then we summarize all these results into a meta-analysis with the benefit of having uh, um, the exact same methodology for processing the data. For some of the new research questions that we want to ask, which are more specific and more in depth, we are now pulling all the data so building a mega analysis database and uh, perform analysis on, on all the data together. We started, I think, three years ago with the first disease working groups within Enigma. So we had schizophrenia, uh, bipolar disorder, ADHD and depression. Uh, so that were the first working groups starting and publishing um, papers and, and studies on brain abnormalities in those few disorders. And by now, I think Enigma includes maybe around 20 different disorders, um, including psychiatric disorders, but also neurological disorders such as epilepsy, Parkinson. Uh, 